Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Okay, welcome back everyone to our special Enterprise Connect coverage. This is theCUBE. We are here on the ground. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Savage, VP of Enterprise with Vonage. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thanks for having me. So, a quick keynotes here, a lot of stuff going on. What's your take on the show? What is Vonage doing? How are you guys winning? What are customers doing with Vonage? Yeah, no, great. You know, it's been an opportunity for Vonage business to really get out here and educate the enterprise community and the consultant community on what we have built. And Vonage business uh, has, through acquisition, rolled up a group of companies in a very strategic manner. And these companies have built uh, over 16 years of development uh, very rock solid MPLS national networks. Uh, the coverage now includes Canada, moving in, now have pops in uh, London and Germany, covering the EU and, and plans to go uh, forward from there. But uh, it's an opportunity to really evangelize and educate that you know, Vonage is a well-known consumer brand and we now have made a distinct pivot into the business and enterprise business space. Everyone knows Vonage as a disruptor. They enabled the market. They came in and dominated voice over IP. And now that's translating to disrupting this market. What are you guys doing here that's disrupting the business market? You got finalists best in show. What is that new disruption? Well, I mean, we have for a long time been, you know, kind of snobbish on the private MPLS delivery to guarantee quality of service all the way to the desktop. We now are seeing great advancements in technology as we see bandwidth demands going up, prices coming down. We're beginning to play more and more in the over the top space. So we have SD-WAN or smart WAN capabilities now that help us optimize circuits, forward error correct voice, uh, uh, provide jitter control and quality controls across the broadband connection. So that's one of the big things as of January we've rolled out in, into the space. You guys have done the work under the, under the hood, big time, and that's something that a lot of people don't know about. Is that something that you guys are constantly educating people about, and yeah. how are you guys winning in big business? Yeah, you have to, right, because um, there's just a lot of noise in this space right now. Everybody is jumping in. It's, it's de being demanded to be in the cloud in some flavor. So the key is to look under the hood, and, and it is an education process, because you're right, we are very bullish on things like security. You know, dual SVCs at, at every juncture in the, in, the, uh, in, in the network, from outside in as well as from phone to phone, right? Um, we have encryption across uh, an internet connection to the handset. Um, the way we deploy our POPs, uh, we've got 21 POPs across the country dedicated solely to UCAS out there. So final question, Jeff, why should end user business customers work with Vonage? Well, in the enterprise space, Vonage has made a dedicated um, entrance into the enterprise space for the past few years, and we have dedicated teams from pre-sales through project uh, management, service delivery, and ongoing into NOC support um, with, with the uh, quality of service on our network, with the SD-WAN and SmartWAN capabilities. We provide great flexibility to the end user um, from either broadband or MPLS delivery, and we now also have great integrations into tools like Salesforce, Act, Sugar, NetSuite, Oracle, et cetera. So we're heavily integrating into companies' back office systems, which in, which in the enterprise space is, is almost mandatory these days. You know, looking at the financials, you guys are almost a billion dollars in revenue, you're publicly traded. If you were a privately held company, you'd be a, a big time unicorn, you'd be like $8 billion valuation. So certainly great business performance. Is that recent, you guys have continued momentum? Give us a quick update on the business momentum. Yeah, so I think what you'll see out there now is uh, we probably have one of the larger UCAS sales teams in the industry today. And our, we're going to continue to grow both our brick and mortar in the marketplace. We're seeing great strides in the indirect channel as they become more educated on what we, what we have and be able to sell that effectively. And now we have um, the enterprise focus. And we, we've seen the, our largest opportunities uh, you know, I've been with this 15 years now. I'm legacy Telesphere acquisition. We started our company in 2000. We've never seen more enterprise opportunities than we've seen today. All right, Jeff Vonage here inside the Cube on the ground. We'll be right back with more. Thanks for watching. I'm John Furrier.